Okay, guys, you're welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so in a very big video, I want to show you one of the easiest ways I change the background of my images. Trust me, this is one of the best procedures out there, and it's going to save you a whole ton of time and a whole lot of time. So without wasting much of your time, let's quickly get started. And to crown it all, before we get started, you are getting the background that we are using in this particular video for free. So make sure you stay tuned so you actually learn how to apply it on your own images. All right, guys, let's quickly get started. The first thing I'm going to do is definitely to make a selection of my options. And once that is done, just make sure you select inverse, which is your background, then zoom in on your object to make sure that your mask is good, that your selection is good rather. Yeah. Just make sure it's okay for what you want to do. Okay, so I think I can work with this. The next thing I'm going to do is to make a duplicate of this layer. And once I have the layer duplicated, I'm going to press... I'll right click on my object and go to layer via cut. Once you have your object separated from your background, the next thing I need you to do is to make sure that your object layer is above all other layers. Then come down to your background layer, reload the selection of your object, not your background, please. Then go to your select, make sure that you are still in your background layer. Go to select, come down to modify and expand that selection. Maybe by five because we need the shadows intact. Then right click on it and go to fill, content aware and press OK. So what this is going to do for us is that it's going to fill up that area. So we'll have our background empty of the object and our object empty of the background. So I'm not going to remove all of this. I might take care of the upper part, but I will not touch the down part because once we restore her, she's going to just fill it up and the shadows will still be intact. So I could just pick up my patch tool and um, fix this area, which is actually absolutely not necessary because it won't show in the image. So the next thing to do now is to get the background we want to use. So I'll go get the background we're going to use. So this is the background we're going to be using. Considering the way it looks on the image, we need to scale it in very necessary. So I'm going to place my anchor points here, then scale her in. Very good. So at this point, we need to bring it down definitely. All right, press enter. So I'm going to change the blend mode to hard light or any other blend mode that allows it to work perfectly. I love what overlay is doing, so we're going to stick with overlay. But the issue now is that this background looks too busy. For our object, we need something simple. So that means we are going to change the background. This doesn't suit the image. So we'll remove it and find another one. So I found this background and it looks really amazing to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it in so that I'll just have the middle part because I do not want the balloons around it at all. So I'm just going to crop it in with the same size of my image. Press enter. So I will now convert it to a layer so I can move it around and drag it place it over my object and scale it in as well. Beautiful. So once you have that properly done, you can also well move it around to see if there is any part of it that looks better on the image, which I prefer this part showing up. So I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. Let's see how hard light handles it. Uh, not so well because of the floor and all of that. So I'm going to keep it at my overlay press enter this is looking beautiful so the next thing i need to do is to restore the shadows which are already showing up so i think the reason why our shadows are showing up is because we changed the blend mode to overlay so if we remove the overlay you'll notice the shadows are not showing up although there are other ways to restore the original shadow but the background is looking too illuminated we'll have to do a whole lot of work to get it matching so the best thing for me in this image is to change the blend mode and immediately it matches everything by itself. So I would have preferred to get back the shadows, but I have my shadows already. So we'll leave the shadow. But in case you do your own and your shadow doesn't show up, one of the things you can do is just create a mask for this background layer, then paint it out and you will see your shadows showing up 
right there. All right, guys. So this is how you do it. One of the other things you can do is to create a global color grading, which we do not need in this image because everything is actually looking very, very matching. Her skin tone and the background color, they are looking really nice. The, the color of the floor and the color of the skin is also looking nice. But if your own is not looking this nice, one thing you can do very quickly, there are two things you can do to get a global color grading that will just work for you. One of the first of them is your color lookup. You could just use any color lookup table. Even though this is matching, once we apply any other color on it, you will see that it still gets it closer to reality. But I prefer the original one. So after this, another thing you can do very quickly is to use your gradient mapping. You can go into your adjustment layers, go to your gradient map, open up your gradients, make sure that your gradient type is set to noise. Then make sure your roughness is set to 25 to give you that soft transition. Then press OK, change the blend mode to soft light, very important. Then of course, reduce your fill or the opacity in such a way that it doesn't look too much. Then go back to your gradient map, start clicking on the randomize. So as you are clicking on it, you'll notice it's color grading the whole image for you. And it's giving you something very, very, very amazing. Oh, this is beautiful. But of course, I prefer the original one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you download your own background. How do you get your background? Just make sure you're a part of our WhatsApp community so that you will get access to the background. That is where we are going to be pasting it because of our link issues that YouTube does not permit. So make sure you just join our WhatsApp community so that you get access to the background and other free gifts that we give you on this channel back to back. Thank you so much for watching more and more time. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. And if you subscribe, please, please, and please turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Thank you and see you on the next one.